Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angelica and I make videos about DIY projects, home decor and some lifestyle every single week. So if you're interested in these topics, please subscribe to my channel and click this notification bell so you won't miss any of my future projects. Today's video is my first Christmas related video. I think now is the right time to start talking about Christmas and prepare our homes for this season. During this time I will try to upload new video twice a week. Uh, there will be one on Wednesday as usual and the extra one will be on Sunday. I will be sharing with you some ideas how you can make your own Christmas decoration. There also will be some gifts ideas, cards making and much more. Uh, of course, can't forget about um, Boho Christmas and Macrame, which are my favorite one. I hope everyone will find something they like. So today's video is all about advent calendars. Uh, I will create two different types of advent calendar. The first one is kind of gift calendar. And I'm actually gonna make it for my boyfriend. I will wrap 25 individual presents, gifts, which he's gonna open on each day of December. And the second calendar will be more counting down calendar. So if you can't wait for Christmas and want to start counting the days till you can finally open the presents this will be ideal thing uh, it also creates really nice home decoration i create this video as the first one as i thought you will probably need some more time to collect all the necessary items to make these calendars and the whole idea with this calendar is to actually start using them with the first day of december okay so without any further ado let's start with the first project for this wall hanging advent calendar i'm using embroidery hoop mine is about 30 centimeters in diameter and i use both parts of the hoop to keep it strong some branches which i've collected outside on the wall craft paper for wrapping the presents some thicker thread tape, pen and pair of scissors I will link most of these items down below in case you want to use the same stuff I also have 25 individual gifts as I said before I'm creating it for my boyfriend so I got him some socks, pen, lots of sweets and other bits and bobs. I start with wrapping all presents separately in craft paper. I'm using craft paper for more minimalistic look, but of course you can choose the wrapping paper you like. I just simply wrap the gift and secure it with tape. Once the gift is packed, I'm using Sharpie to write the first number. Each gift will have different number from 1 to 25 for each day of December up to Christmas Day. I don't pay a lot of attention to how I wrap the presents. Each gift is different shape, so I just pack them the best way I can. This calendar is great idea for the present for your friend or family. Of course, you can make it for yourself, but you know what you are putting inside, so there won't be any surprise. You can talk with your friend to make one of these for each other, suggest the budget and then swap them between, so both of you will have a nice surprise. I also believe it's much easier to find little presents for girl, so much to choose from, that's why most of my gifts are sweet as I was struggling to find something small and useful for men. Once all of them are wrapped and numbered, it's time to attach them to the hoop. I use some thicker thread. Wrap it a couple of times around the present and then to the hoop. For better look, I hang each present on different level.
Also, it's easier to work and attach presents when the hoops is hanging on something. Then I want to decorate the hoop. I'm using fresh branches which look very Christmassy and also smell amazing. I just hot glue them in a few places to the hoop and then I've added some pine cones as well. And there we go, the gift advent calendar is ready. I'm absolutely in love. I like the minimalistic look of it and the fresh details. Can't wait when he starts opening each day and see his reaction to the gifts. For this project, I had to go outside and use some power tools to cut the piece of wood I need. I found this wood in a recycling center, but if you don't have the power tools or you're just not confident enough to use them, that's not a problem. I'm sure you can just buy it in your local hardware store. I will be using 50 cm times 50 cm piece of wood. But if you decide to use the tools, please be careful and ask someone to assist you. Because my board is made out of three separate pieces of wood, I'm adding some screws to the back to connect them together. Then I sand down the whole surface and the edges. I also spray paint the nails. Golden color nails are so expensive in shop, so if you got some spray paint at home and normal nails, this way is much cheaper. In the board, I mix half and half of white paint and water. Then using cotton cloth, I start applying this mixture on my wood. Paint mixed with water uh, will create white wash on the wood. So it doesn't cover the wood completely, it gives a white color, but you can still see the grain of the wood. I have applied two layers of it. I want to create Christmas tree shape out of numbers. So I've made some sketch and calculation knowing that my board is 50 times 50 centimeters and each number is about three and a half centimeters wide. To help with painting the numbers, I've bought this plastic stencil and instead of paint and brush, I bought like a sample of paint, which got this small roller. First, I marked the middle point of my board. This will be the place for my first number. I place my template on the wood and using the roller, I'm applying the paint. You just have to be careful and stick to the lines of the number and don't paint anything else. The unpainted places I cover with some brush and paint. Then I created number 25, which is on the bottom of the board, but in the same line with number 1. I do the same with the rest of the numbers. I leave half of the centimeter space between the figures and two centimeters gap between the full numbers. Let each number fully dry before putting template on it again. Once all the numbers are done, I'm placing the golden nails above each number.
To finish this calendar off, I've created this small version of rib. It's just some wire with leaves and then I added the red pom-poms as well. Place it on the nail above the number to mark what day of December is. Move it each day to change the date. I'm really happy how it turned out. It took a while to create it, but it was 100% worth it. You can hang it on the wall or just put it on your cupboard like I did. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and this project. If you do, please click the like button. Also, let me know in the comment section if you are actually going to do any of this calendar and if it's the first one, who you are going to do it for? Is it yourself or someone else? I'm excited to read your comments and see who you're gonna surprise or what items you put inside. And for now, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next Christmas video.